What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using a staple Pokemon among the fairy types. We got ourselves a Gardevoir team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Gardevoir on today's team, it is rocking telepathy so we can pair it up next to Garchomp and have Garchomp EQ freely, which is really nice. On top of that, Gardevoir has the choice specs as item, making it do an insane amount of damage. It's got Moonblast, it's got Expanded Force, it's got Dazzling Gleam, and it's got Thunderbolt. So, three different stab moves, one coverage move, Gardevoir's ready to rock out in today's video. Like I mentioned, we have Garchomp. Everybody loves Garchomp. Such a strong Pokemon, especially in a format where the power is like less, like no legendaries, no paradox Pokemon. Garchomp is officially back doing a lot of work. It's got rough skin. It's got the clear amulet, rocking EQ, Dragon Call, Stomping Tantrum, and Protect. Four other Pokemon on today's team. We got Milotic, we got Amoongus, we got Meowth and we have Arcanine. Obviously, Incineroar is the better Intimidate user, but if you look at the moveset on this Arcanine, you can see why we're rocking with it. Flare Blitz, Wild Charge, Close Combat, Extreme Speed. Bunch of strong moves, one first turn priority move. Arcanine is going to be a great Pokemon amongst this squad. Moog is going to be our support Pokemon. You guys already know what that does. It can support Pokemon. This one can also Sludge Bomb. It's a Moongus. Masquerade with the Focus Sash, got Flower Trick, Trick Room, Knock Off and Protect. And last but not least, we have Milotic with Haze. Everybody loves Haze. Nice little move, especially in this format to deal with like Don Dozos or Pokemon that want to set up. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Gardevoir team. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Evolution team with Arcanine. I don't know why they wanted to go in with Arcanine and not just go all Evolutions, but still, five Evolutions. I give this opponent props. Definitely a dope team. But from here, I could definitely leave my choice specs Pokemon if I would like to. So I do kind of like Gardevoir and Garchomp here because EQ could work wonders. I got Clear Amulet in case she wants to intimidate. I think this is good for us. We're just going to have to watch out for, obviously, Glaceon, but I could Thrasilize at that point. So I'm going to go Gardevoir. I am going to go Garchomp. Late game, Milota can be pretty solid here. All right, what do you got? You got Icy Wind, Scald. Eh, I really want you. Not really. I could just go in like Arcanine of my own. I mean, Arcanine of my own actually has great options here. Got Close Combat to deal with the Dark Typing. It's got Wild Charge to deal with Vaporeon. It's got Flare Blitz to deal with Glaceon. We like it. So I'm going to end up bringing you. And then last but not least, I think going into like Meowth is just great all around. Especially with like Flower Trick. Can't really go wrong with it. And the Focus Edge, yeah. Meowth come on down. So pretty dope squad we're rocking out with today. Pretty dope squad we are bursting here today. So match number one. Coming at you guys. Evolution. I wonder what they're going to go into. Probably like... I could definitely see it being like Umbreon for lead and just like snarling. It's definitely an option. It's like weird when you go up against like Evolution teams. It's, it's just weird because they, they, they play so differently. They play so awkwardly, right? Like, and you don't get to go up against them too often. It's like w once every like, once a year you'll see it pop up and you'll be like, all right, we're going to deal with that. But Umbreon and Sylveon do get the lead here. Um, maybe Garchomp, I can freely EQ, which I'm probably going to do. And then from here, actually, we definitely want to probably Terrastalize. No, 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 Terrastalize Garchomp in the Steel and freely EQ. And then from here, we could just choice into Dazzling Gleam, which would probably be best for us with the choice specs. They could go into Moonblast, but I mean, obviously, Umbreon can Terrastalize here as well. So I think this is our best option, just Terrastalize Garchomp, EQ freely next to Gardevoir with Telepathy, and then obviously drop a nice little Dazzling Gleam. I think that works well with the choice specs. Can't go wrong with it. You cannot go wrong with it. So Steel Terror type coming out here from the Chompskis. From my boy Chomps. And EQ's gonna launch. We're outspeeding. I think Gardevoir should outspeed these Evolutions as well. So EQ going to chunk up. Nice respectable damage onto Sylveon. Daz and Gleam going to almost finish him off. That would have been big. Hyper Voice gonna fly through here. Do a little bit of damage. And Foul Play's gonna launch here as well. And it does, that does respectable damage. So Ruffskin, does that KO it? It does. So rough skin KO. Hot start for us. A <laughs> nice little rough skin KO. So hopefully they bring in a, a slower Pokemon because I would love to just EQ and go for another Dazzle Gleam here. That would really be good for me. And I think they go into Arcanine. No, they go into Espeon. And yeah, we should still outspeed. Give me no reason not to do the same exact thing. Yeah, because you can't. You're not going to outspeed my Garchomp. It's going to protect Sylveon. That's fine. That'd be fine. That is totally fine. And actually, you do outspeed. This Espeon's a bit faster. That's going to KO me. Okay, so I'm able to get off Dazzling Gleam, which is good news for me. 
And now they know that they can outspeak Gardevoir, which is... It's okay for me. I mean, it's not that good because Espeon can legit just KO my Gardevoir with a with a Shadow Ball there. That could be a choice, Sylveon, or Espeon, but we'll see. That's some good damage. We like that damage. Um, From here, we could go into you. I mean, let's see your speed. We need somebody to outspeed Sylveon, and of course you're going to outspeed Sylveon. You are flying here. And we can save Arcanine. I think we should definitely save Arcanine. So I'm just going to go into Miascarada. You could go for Quick Attack, Sylveon. That's just something I am a little afraid of. And honestly, we're just going to go Flower Trick here just to pick up the KO into that slot. And you're going to go for Shadow Ball, but if for some reason you don't, I'm just going to double down with Gardevoir. The Flower Trick launches. I probably should have KO'd, though. I should have, what's it called? I should have Flower Trick the Espeon. I don't know what I'm doing. I should have Flower Trick the Espeon and then have Gardevoir out speed. That would have definitely been the better play. Yeah, that would have 100% been the better play. But I still kind of like where we're sitting because Miascarada is out speed the Espeon. I can KO with Flower Trick. Um, I have Focus Hash still, so that was more of a safe play than anything. But obviously, I definitely should have just attacked that Espeon, knowing that Miascarada is the fastest on the field. But there was a chance that you were uh, choiced. There was a chance that you were choice, so it kind of makes sense on my end. All right, cool. So, out comes my Arcanine. We are going to Intimidate, but Glaceon's going to be here, which is beautiful. Really good for us. So, we have Sash. They still have Terra. I think from here, we obviously just go Flower Trick into this slot, just to make sure that goes down. Then we just rip a Flare Blitz. I'm cool with that. So, we still have Focus Sash. Chances are you're probably going to go for, like, an Ice Move into Miascarada, which I don't mind. I do not mind that. So, to get that sash we just really can't afford for you to like protect and terrestrialize here like an espion protect and a glaceon terrestrialization that's where things would get ugly but there's a glaceon terra what terra type you got you don't have water i do have wild charge and i do have flower trick so this could be good for us this could be good for us let's see what he's cooking flower trick's gonna fly no protect from the espion which is massive night night espion and you got to be going after my Miascarada at this point, correct? Especially that you went into a Water Terror type. You're sitting here like, I have to get rid of this Miascarada. Boy, it's going to fly. And it actually does solid damage. It does good damage. And there's a Blizzard. Blizzard coming out here. Who's dodging it? Someone's dodging it. Miascarada dodged it. Let's go. That's huge. That's huge. But now I can just Flower Trick. I can Wild Charge my way to victory. GG to our opponent. They stand no chance at cancel match. Going up against some dope teams today. Just beat up on an Evolution team. Now we're going up against Magnezone and Blastoids. That is super dope. I'm a big fan of that. Do I lead Gardevoir and Garchomp again? I mean, I could. I have clear ammo, which is good news for us. Um, They do have Indeedee. I do actually really like this lead again. So I'm going to go into Garchomp. I am going to go into Gardevoir here. Something I really like. And then later in the game, we could go back into like the same squads looking pretty good. But honestly, Amoongus... I kind of like you here with your Spore and Sludge Bomb action. Your special attack's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. You got the Rage Powder as well. Um, hmm. Milo's not bad with Icy Wind Scald. Arcanine kind of is all around really solid here. So I'm going to go Arcanine. You got Close Combat to deal with Incineroar. You got Wild Charge to deal with that Blast Switch. You got Fire Blitz to deal with the Magnezone. East Beef first in priority if they don't bring in the terrain. But last Pokemon, I think I just got to go, go in with the same squad. It's just looking nice here. It is just looking nice, especially because, like, uh, I love the Guard Chomp and Guard will lead. But then Arcanine and Meowth are just two very good late-game Pokemon. Like, with Intimidate, with their speed factor, with the Focus Hash. Like, everything just works out fine for them after my first two Pokemon go out. So, I like it. I like it. So, we're sitting 1-0. We dumped on an Evolution team looking to beat up on Blastoids, even though I love Blastoids. And they're gonna end up leading in DD and Dragon Pulse. So I can freely expanding force here. I can freely expanding force here. It's free. And I could terrestrialize here as well because obviously Dragon Darts would double down into my my Chomskis, which we don't want. Which we definitely don't want. Special defense boost is gonna pop through here. We are gonna go into I could go I could go Dazzling, but expanding force is looking dangerous. It really is. Choice specs, terrain boosted. Expanded Force. We're going to rock it. We're going to rock it and we're just going to go Terra EQ. As much as I'd love to go for Dazzle Gleam there. I see it's super effective. I see it neutral on the other one. I just think choosing an Expanded Force with the terrain out here. It's just big for us. It's really big for us. It is. So we're going to go back-to-back -back matches. Terrasalizing our guard jump into a Steel Typing. 
And what are they gonna do here? What you got? Dragon darts flying? Follow me's gonna come out here. That's fine. We're using double hitting moves. Waste of a turn there. Dragon darts? Dragon darts, which is why we terrestrialize. This is exactly why we want to terrestrialize. That's big time. It doesn't even do half of our HP. And EQ now launches. Telepathy on the Gardevoir. Should be able to get rid of Dragapult, no problem. And I'm real curious to see if this expanded force can KO in DD. It's plus one special defense. It doesn't, but still, respectable damage. We get rid of Dragapult, too. So Dragapult, going. Get it on out my face. Get it on out of here. Draggy pull going. All right. So now they can fake me out. Clear amulet's not going to do anything. Um, expanded force. Ooh, I should have went into Daz and Gleam. I should have. Um, who are they going to fake out? I feel like either way, we, we're picking up a KO. So I'm going to expand and force into this slot. And I'm just going to go into... I feel like you got to go after my guard chomp. So I'm just going to protect my guard chomp here. You have to fake out guard chomp. It's an absolute must. It's just an easy play. Fake out maybe trick room here. Is that what you're doing? Not even a fake out. You're going for flare blitz? Or a knockoff? Let's see. But we get rid of Indeedee, which is huge. If you're trying to set up trick room, we got that unlocked. You're, you're gone. Show me a flare blitz right here. Yep, a little bit of protect action works perfectly. And now I can just EQ and just do monstrous damage. If Garchomp goes down, Garchomp goes down. Like, I have my two back end Pokemon. The Magazine comes out here. Um, do you have Levitate? I kind of forget if you do or don't. I'm just going to swap into you. Just reset that choice specs. And then, ah, uh, do I EQ? No, I think I just go into Stomping Tantrum. You know what? We're not going to reset it. Expanded Force can still do nice damage onto you. Plus, I want to EQ freely here, so I'm going to do that. There's a Terra from them. I really just want to EQ freely. Does, does Magnus own learn Levitate? I guess not, because he's terrestrializing. And now Expanded Force is just going to absolutely tear through you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you terrestrialize, but at what cost? But at what cost? At what cost? Now you gotta take this expanded force to the chin. Instead of taking great damage, expanded force flying out here. This, I believe, should take out Magnuson, right? Get it on out of here. Yo, this combo go crazy. Garchomp, Gardevoir? Sheesh! Doing work. Doing a lot of work right now. Now it's just down to Incineroar. He finally gets off his Flare Blitz. He's gonna take out my Chomp. But do you die out the recoil damage? I don't think. Oh, Rough Skin and Recoil. That should, that should be game. That should be game. That should be game. Garchomp dies out there. Rough skin damage went through. Did you not take any recoil? There it is. There it is. I was waiting for it. So recoil going to finish him off. Almost grab ourselves a sweep there. But hey, another win in the bag. We're 2-0. Time for our final match. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. Hisuian Typhlosion. Been seeing this Pokemon a lot on the rank of regulation each ladder. Such a strong Pokemon, especially next to like... Whimscott right here. I mean, Tailwind setup, Eruption can just go through it also a sunny day. So that is something that we really have to watch out for. But I don't really know how I'm going to counter that. I have no speed control. Whimscott, Typhoid, definitely going to be the lead. I could maybe like Sash up and set up a Trick Room. That's not a bad idea. I think that's what we got to go into here. I think we have to lead me out to I do like that. I do like that. So we're going to be asked around here. I am going to go chomp just so I can maybe let's just like protect this turn. And then we're going to go into hmm, Amoongus, especially if we set up Trick Room, could be really good for sport purposes. And last but not least, we got to go into our Gardevoir. The thing is, I think they're setting up Tailwind or Sunny Day first turn. And this is just a way around it. I mean, they do have Ursaluna, but I don't think they even like consider bringing it. I really don't. I really don't. So I think it's just going to be like a Typhlosion Whimscott lead, especially like looking at my team. They probably see that and are like, hey, this combo can just do absolute work, which it can do, but they're not taking into account my Focus Ash, my Trick Room. Let's just see who they end up bleeding. There it is, Typhlosion Whimscott. All right, so what I want to do here is just protect Garchomp. Keep it fresh, keep it stable. Hopefully have him set up a Tailwind or something, and then we just Sash up and pop Trick Room. Yeah, I'm really cool with that. Really, really cool with that. Go ahead, set up a Tailwind first. Go Tailwind. Go Tailwind. That would be a lot better for us if you end up going Tailwind. But I really do think it's just like Sunny Day. Yeah, Sunny Day, Fire Typhlosion. That's fine by me. 
Like I said, I got the sash. We just need him setting up Tailwind or Sunny Day, because then we'll just sash up and we'll pop the Stricker. I'd rather be Tailwind than Sunny Day. Let's see. So I protect my Chomp. Well, Scott, he's going to go for the Tailwind. What a play by us. What a play by us. That's huge. That's a huge lead play for us. Eruption's going to fly. They got Tailwind out. Now I have really fast Pokemon. But they're behind Tailwind, so this is just a couple of turns that my fast Pokemon can really just thrive out here. There goes Eruption. I'm sashing up, baby. Hanging on with Focus Sash. And he's probably like, oh, dude, I'm, I'm in such a good position. Nah, yo, we popping Trick Room, baby. We popping Trick Room. Come on, now. Come on, now. You thought this was going to be easy, huh? You thought this was going to be easy. Thought it was gonna be easy. I could swap into like a Moonga or something, but I really have to go after his uh, high version. I really do. I'm gonna double down to this high version slot just in case he wants to swap out. I'm not really too worried about Wimscott unless you have, unless you have Trick Room on hand, and you're gonna go for Encore. I'm dark. It doesn't affect me. Get on out of here with that. Sonic Tantrum's gonna fly. Can I just KO you with this? I do. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Plan's working real well right now. Real well. Knockoff's going to slide over. We're going to get rid of what? Your focus hash? Maybe about five damage to you. Maybe a little bit more. Meh. That's like two paper towels stacked on top of each other. So it's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit thicker of a paper towel hit. <laughs> but King Gambit's not going to come out here. They don't have Terra. I can just stop. We can't jump into that if I want to. And I think our best bet would just be like swapping into maybe like a Mugus this turn. We even Gardevoir. No, because then you could just like sucker punch me. We're, we're just gonna go into Mugus. Place would save. And just drop an EQ. Or not EQ, a Stomp Attention. I probably should Thrasilize uh, Garchomp because Moonblast could easily fly into the slot. But I like a Moongus out here, especially for sludge bombing this uh, Wim's got down. Low kick's gonna fly. Thank you very much for doing negative five damage. Now that's a paper towel hit. And Simon Tantrum comes out here first, which is awesome. Doing big time damage to King Gambo. Moonblast does launch. I, I should have Tarras Slice, but we should soak, which we do. So we soak that up all day. I can now sludge bomb the Wim's cut. I can just go into another Stomping Tantrum. You could maybe Sucker Punch me if you want to, but... I mean, you already showed that you are slower than everybody. Besides a Moongus, I mean, I could have put him to sleep. But I don't think they're expecting the old sludge bomb to come out here and take out the Whimsicott. The big time plays from us, yo. Big time plays, reading the lead of Typhoid and Whimsicott, protecting Guard Chomp, popping that Trick Room, and putting us in a perfect position to win this game. The Simon Tension can come out here, finish off the King Gambit, and now it's a 3v1. Actually, a 4v1. I have all my Pokemon. Are we going to sweep? This is sure looking like we're going to sweep, because I'm just going to put this Pokemon to sleep, and I'm going to say night night to this battle. So 3 0 perfect record. Coming our way, mouse hold out on the field. It's a support. It don't really matter. It's going to sleep. It doesn't matter. You are going to sleep. Night, night, mouse hold. And then we can just drag claw. Attack. I think they cancel, right? There it is. Battle is canceled. Sweep to end today's video. I love this team so much. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Gardevoir and Garchomp calling game going 3 0 today. I love this team so much. That lead was amazing. I just think it's super powerful considering you got the choice specs on Gardevoir. And then you can EQ freely with Garchomp without hitting your ally Pokemon. It's just so massive. It really is. We made a great play in match number three. Pop a trick room with Miascarada. Moongus thrived out with a Sludge Bomb KO. Arcanine is great for late game. The only Pokemon that we didn't use today was Milotic, who is kind of niche on this team, but it works out really well. So if we were going up against like Don Dozers or something, Haze Milotic would have came up clutch. But no situation in today's video where we need it. But it didn't matter. Again, 3 0 perfect record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend a positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.